you'd hear one long blast on the whistle and everybody would head for the canneries. We were young. There was a lot of joking and laughing and we really enjoyed it. A lot of them I knew their families and we went to church and we hung out together too. I work at different places. Then I go back to the cannery because it was seasonal and it was convenient. I could work nights because I had small children. It made it lighter for my husband so he wouldn't have the full responsibility of all the bills. I didn't even know English. They asked me questions and I said yes and yes and yes. And with nothing but yeses, they put me to work. Everyone went to the beach during the summer. They'd say, can't you go? No, I can't. I've got to work. I had to work every summer my whole life. I worked side by side with my grandmother and sold, packed, and sorted cherries. It was so nice. It was a breeze compared to the fields. I heard about the canneries, that they pay more, so I tried to go work there. And I'll never return to the fields. At first, he did mind me working when the kids were small. We used to have a lot of arguments, but I went anyway. After the war, they really didn't care about age. They wanted people with experience with apricots. So I raised my hand even though I didn't have any experience. I was scared, but I got the hang of it right away. You had to stand right there. When you're cutting cots at home, you'd cut one section and kind of move around a little bit. But there, you just had to stand right there, no moving. Here come all the peaches. And then they're on this belt. And they move along. And you have to either look for the bad ones or flip them over. Pretty soon, the belt seems like it's standing still and you're moving. Because you're staring down and all these peaches are moving and you're never really looking up because you don't want to miss anything, right? And pretty soon, you feel like your body is moving. I couldn't handle it. A new girl, she doesn't know that. So she looks up and down all the time and pow, she falls right over dizzy. We went to protest at City Hall about forming a union. In those days, there were an order that police would not hit women. They will hit the men all they wanted, but not the women. So we decided to put the women and children up front so police wouldn't attack us. But the fire engines came and they attacked us with billy clubs and fire hoses. I wanted to be independent and I'm willing to work for it. I wanted to show women that it could be done. And when other women saw that I could do it, why couldn't they do it? The cannery is a way of life. You live in it and you thrive in it. 